What's up everyone? I'm Alex from Boards, Bikes, and Hikes. And waxing your snowboard is one of the most important things and honestly the most satisfying things I think you can do as a snowboarder or skier. You're going to be out there ripping, your snowboard's going to get dinged, it's going to get, you know, I mean, you know, these things have wax on the bottom and after so many runs that wax is going to wear down. And it can get expensive to pay a shop or pay somebody to wax it over and over again. So I think one of the most useful skills you can learn as a snowboarder or skier is how to wax your own gear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through a two-part video series. So make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you're gonna see when part two of this video posts. So for part one, we're gonna be opening this care package that I just received from Outdoor Master, which is gonna be their Outdoor Master Wax Kit, which you will be able to pick up. I will leave a link to this wax kit in the description below, as well as the promo code Boards, Bikes, and Hikes. It's gonna get you 15% off of your wax kit. And then for part two, I'm gonna show you how to wax your snowboard. So for this one, I'm gonna open up this wax kit, show you what all comes with it, what's inside. I've got two cameras going, that way you can see everything that I'm gonna place on these tables. So without further ado, let's get inside the box. All right, just open this upside down. So, I'm gonna open this box up, and you're gonna find that your Outdoor Master Wax Kit comes in this really nice carrying case. It's nice and sturdy, nice and thick. It's got several different zippered pockets. I think that's really nice. I, this is honestly the first time I'm opening up this wax kit. So, the Outdoor Master Wax Kit. We're gonna start off by opening the top pocket. First thing, what you're gonna find inside, you've got your sharpener. What you're gonna use this sharpener for, you're gonna use it to sharpen your edges. You're gonna use it to sharpen your scraper. You gotta keep your boards, your edges nice and sharp. That way you're gonna get that nice, good edge hold um, when you're out there ripping them out. Sharpener, piece number one. We also have Sponge, you're gonna help use that to wipe leftover wax, get rid of dirt, debris. Sponge is super useful when you're waxing your snowboard. You've got a bag of eight extra screws. Two extra thick rubber bands. Now, in this top pocket, what you're gonna find, it also comes with some wax. This is a universal wax, since it's good for cold snow, it has your uh, recommended iron temperature on there, which is 140 degrees, which that's actually really cool. I haven't seen that on other waxes before, so definitely gonna test this out, see how this wax handles. We've got nice little very fine grit. I don't know how well that's gonna show up on the camera. Very fine grit, little sandpaper. Gonna use that when you're making repairs on your snowboard. I'm gonna be laying everything out on this table here. My second camera will pick this up. We've got the metal scraper. Now what you're gonna use this metal scraper for is if you do get a hole in the base of your snowboard, you're gonna melt P-Tex. You use this metal scraper only to remove the excess P-Tex. Do not use this to scrape wax off your snowboard. It will damage your base. This is for getting the excess P-Tex only when you make a snowboard repair. So on that same note, we've got some sticks of P-Tex to use. Hopefully you don't run into this, but if you do, Something you're gonna have, nice to have in the arsenal because you never know when you're gonna hit a stray stick, rock, root, anything like that. Really good to have P-Tex to be able to fix those holes so that they don't get worse and keep your snowboard ripping. Got the file, gonna use that on the edges of your snowboard as well, help keep it sharp, remove metal burrs, all that good stuff. And your plastic scraper. Now this scraper right here, that's the one that you're gonna use to remove the wax when you wax your snowboard. This is gonna be your best buddy. All right, so that's, as you can see, it's all for the top pocket. Let's open compartment number two. Opening up compartment number two, you have another area just for storage right here. You've got three different brushes. I think that's awesome that the kit comes with three different brushes. My, my previous wax kit that I have did not come with a brush. I actually had to buy that separate. You've got a nylon, brass, as well as a horsehair brush. Each of these brushes have a different purpose when you're waxing your snowboard. I'll take you through that step when we get into the part two of this video. So again, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you smash that like button, help me out, 
follow along for part two so you can learn how to take care of your own snowboard. So each of these three brushes have a different use, different job in the process of lasting the snowboard. I'm gonna lay these out right here. Next up inside of here, we have an apron. Now, when you're waxing a snowboard, sometimes you can get a little carried away. You start dripping your wax, you're having a good time, enjoying yourself. Well, you get wax on your clothes, and you don't want to do that on your nice clothes. You don't want to do that on any of your clothes, really, because frankly, if your wife is like mine, if you get that wax in the washing machine and the dryer, bad news, real bad news. So, what this is gonna do, you have your official outdoor master apron. That way, you can be waxing your snowboard. You don't gotta worry about getting it on your clothes. You get it on this apron. You can keep that apron separate. You don't have to wash it. Keep your clothes clean. Keep your wife happy. And trust me, you really do not want to get wax in the dryer. Horrible, horrible, just bad experience. So set the apron right it over here on the couch. And now we're getting down into the nitty gritty. Got your instruction manual. And have all your tips and tricks and nobody really reads the instructions but hey that's what my part two video is going to be for so if you watch part two you don't have to read the instruction booklet so spend a few minutes with me i'm going to show you some cool stuff and then you don't got to read so you have your whole big baggie and here is the iron now it's got a protective layer on here i'm going to leave that on here just for the purposes of this video but you know what my video my iron our rules. And peel this bad boy off. There you go. Nice, solid snowboard iron. This thing goes everywhere. Goes from zero to 356 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not touch this when it's hot. Bad idea. Typically, when you're doing your wax, my other iron that I've always used has gone by Celsius, so that's the temperatures that I know. This one has Celsius and Fahrenheit, so that way no matter where you are in the world, your form of measurement is on this iron. My other iron runs in Celsius. Typically when I melt my wax, I keep it between 130, 140 degrees. Again, I'll show you more in detail about that, how to know when you're too hot, too low, that good stuff in part two of this video. So, all of this stuff, all this stuff that you see right here, all comes in this kit. You can pick this kit up at OutdoorMaster.com. Again, Boards, Bikes, and Hikes is going to get you 15% off. Right now, this is $89 on Outdoor Master. Typically, it's $99. Right now, they are having an end-of-season winter clearance sale. You can get all this for $89. You put in that beautiful promo code, which again is Boards, Bikes, and Hikes. It's going to give you 15% off, bring your price down even lower, so that way you can have this giant wax kit. This is an awesome kit. It's going to come with everything you need to wax, take care, and make small basic repairs to your snowboard, which is really good to have in your arsenal. Like I said, always good to have on you because if you take it to a shop, you're going to be paying each and every time. And you have to wax your snowboard typically every three to five uh, days on the mountain for us on the East Coast or when you have man-made snow. It's going to be a little bit lower versus when you ride powder. You can get a little bit more runs out of it typically because it's a little bit easier on the base of your snowboard. But again, all this stuff for a real low price and it's gonna save you long term and it's just good knowledge to have to be able to take care of your own snowboard, skis, your equipment, all that stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you've made it this far. Make sure you stay tuned for part two. I'm gonna show you how to wax your snowboard. Hopefully, I don't have to ever make a repair, but if I do have to make a repair to my snowboard, I will show you how to use the P-Tex as well. Again, you can check this kit out as well as all the gear that I typically use while I'm snowboarding. I'm gonna link that in the description below. I have the Outdoor Master Wax Kit. I also run the Outdoor Master Ultra XL goggle. I've tried the Vision as well. It's a fantastic goggle. I've also recently done a review, which I will link right here, a Diamond Snow Ski and Snowboard Helmet. It's their new helmet on their line. I've done a full review of it, so you can click that, check it out. It does have the MIP system, super safe helmet. I've been really satisfied, but check out the review just so you can see. Again, all my gear, everything is linked down in the description below, as well as boards, bikes, and hikes stickers. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch me. You can also follow me at TikTok. I post there every single day. I post two to three TikToks a day. I post YouTube shorts daily, as well as one to two full-length videos on here at YouTube. So thank you so much, YouTube, for watching me. Hope to see you in the next one. Stay tuned for part two.